So we're talking about push-ups, and I just want to talk about scaling push-ups. A lot of times when we scale push-ups, what ends up happening is we uh, start going on a box or against the wall or we bend our knees. What I want to try to do is I want to try to avoid all those things. And I want to try to focus more on the negative aspect of the push-up. So the negative aspect of the push-up would just be this part as I go down. If I'm able to maintain a strong line head to toes on my descent, I am guaranteeing that my motor control and my ability to move is going to be improved and be of quality. Now, once we get down here, what happens is this is where we run into trouble. A lot of people can't push themselves up with a straight body and have a tendency to start arching or breaking a little bit. Now here's the deal, arching your body is totally legit as long as you're squeezing your butt and you're keeping your knees off the ground. Check this out. So I'm here, I'm gonna descend. My hips are on the ground. I'm gonna squeeze my butt tight. I'm gonna keep my knees off the ground. I can arch, this is totally legit, as long as my butt and knees stay straight. Why is that legit? Well, because in terms of pushing mechanics, which is my main focus on the push-up, I am still maintaining the same principles of performance. So check this out, I come down, watch my arms, my arms are pressing, and then I'm just following through with the rest of the body. I descend, chest comes up, finish through. So that's a great way of scaling. And remember, when it comes to athletic performance, this extension is actually great for application into everything else.